Chris Pacemaker here with a different kind of video today. Today we've got a petition. Basically, I'm going to try and change the world. <laughs> um, no, obviously I'm not going to try and change the world. But, I would like to try and change a company's mind on a certain item. Now, those of you who collect figures like me, I mean, I've got a pretty big and almost complete, yeah, I think pretty much complete DC Direct Stroke Collectibles Batman Arkham video game collection. I've got, I think, almost all of their figures apart from a couple. I know I've not got the Joker, and I've got, I haven't got the, like, uh, the Fugs or the Bent Over Bane, uh, but I've got a Bane from two back. You know, here's a picture of my collection. This is what I've got so far. So as you can see, Nice big collection, very chuffed of it, loving it. You guys, I did a video about this collection a while back, and I love the Arkham games. They're up there with my like all-time favorite games compared to like that of Metal Gear, because I love Metal Gear Solid as well. So, the thing that really grinds my gears and really annoys me about these figures is that they're so expensive, and while they do do an amazing job on their sculpt, an amazing job on their paintwork, and I've just noticed a little bit of glitter on this guy, <laughs> they their articulation is getting better and better and better with almost every figure they come out with a few exceptions isn't that right Mr. Mask you just need to bow your head in shame really go on off you go bow your head that figure is god awful but a problem pretty much every figure has in common that is made by DC Direct Stroke Collectibles is this. Now I'm going to show you this. Some of you will know this quite well aware of this. You see this? This plastic is a translucent plastic which DC Direct Stroke Collectibles use in virtually all of their joints. I can prove this. I have a copper head from the Arkham 3 pack, I've just finished reviewing this and if you look clearly at her ankle at her ankle camera at her ankle camera you can see there clear plastic in that joint same as her wrists, I know this first hand because I said to my for you, they snapped same for Deathstroke's crutch, I know it's not really ideal location to be looking but you can see there's clear plastic in there. Now, I don't know if this clear plastic is particularly cheap or what to cut down costs, but oh, in case you're wondering, I have removed the coat of this Hush figure because I was going to attempt to fix this. I figure it would be a lot easier to do without the coat on. Um, yeah, I haven't torn it, it's just taken out the glue. Anyway, moving on. Now, I don't know if this plastic is particularly cheap and therefore why they keep choosing to use it for their joints, I do not know. I do not understand though, because I've been Googling for like 20 minutes and I found dozens and dozens of pictures of people with broken figures because of this cheap plastic, especially the bigger figures. I personally know, I got a Titan Joker. Now mine was broken when I got it, but this guy said they took a small drop and it broke. But I managed to fix mine with a lot of hard work and it was a pain in the backside, but I did fix it. Basically what I had to do was drill a hole in there, cut down a metal screw to about that big, uh, nail rather, and then drill a hole in the other side and then kind of glue it in there and glue it in there. And that's what I did. And that worked. But Titan Joker is a lot bigger than this guy. So I don't know how I'm going to fix this guy whatsoever. I'm going to try just attaching it with glue and see what happens, but I don't think it's going to work. I don't think I've got a drill head small enough to actually do what I need to do. But, sorry, I'm rambling. The point of this video, basically, is I want to say to DC Direct that, come on, stop giving us fans and collectors and regular buyers of your products rubbish materials. I mean, I'm not asking for gold play. I'm not asking for... I don't even know, a platinum or anything like that. <laughs> I'm simply asking for a different plastic than this brittle, transparent one. 
apparently, if you go on the website, there is a forum that actually does say something along the lines like, uh, there is not an issue, there is a quality control check and blah, blah, blah. You know, let's find that. I'm hoping to be able to find the link and actually put it in the description, but I can't find it. But I did find something that said something along the lines of, uh, there is nothing wrong with the quality of the plastic they choose to use. There's only a problem with some of the quality controls or something along them lines. I honestly can't remember. I don't want to quote them, obviously, because it's just off my memory. My memory's not the best thing in the world. I'm not even going to pretend it's good. But just come on. This is what I want to do. I would like each and every one of you to send me in the comments below a description or Facebook me a picture of a broken figure that you have had. Now, I've had a quite a few DC collectibles break on me, and it's frustrating as heck. Especially if you buy them secondhand, there's nothing you can do about them. And if you buy them through eBay, there's nothing you can do about them. It's just... It's just so frustrating. Yeah, you should buy them from the retailer, but when you live in the UK, that's not always an option, because there's not that many comic book shops available in the UK. The closest one for me is something like 100 mile away or something, I don't know, it's far... So, pretty much everything I buy is via the internet. But, the problem I have, like I said, is with only with DC collectibles. Hasbro, yeah, you get breaks with every company. You really do. I'm not pretending to say that DC collectibles are the only ones that actually have breaks. That's, that's stupid. I've had breaks come from Hasbro, from uh, Mattel, from... God, I, can't even, I don't even know these companies, you know. Um, but it happens. It does happen. But it seems to be a very common thing that it happens in with DC collectibles. And it's always the same type of plastic that breaks. With Hasbro Marvel Legends, it might be a hip falling off, or it might be an arm falling off, or it might be a bicep torn off, you know. It's various different things. With Mattel, it might be a similar thing, you know, it might be the head got cracked or something. I don't know, I'm just speculating. But with DC Collectibles, it's always, always the same thing. And basically, I want to do, this is, like I said, this is my plan. If you guys can comment in this video about any breaks that you've had via DC Collectibles or DC Direct, then I will take this information and I'm going to add as many as I can. I've already put a post in my Facebook group and I've already asked a few people. And I've had quite a few feedback in the space of a couple of hours. So it's quite shocking. I mean, the videos, the pictures that you're seeing now are just some that I've randomly found online. And here's the comments that I found. You know, I'm just going to post these up as, as I'm talking. But the plan is, is with, with the amount of people I can get, I'm basically going to try and do like a digital petition. And if I can get enough people behind this and say that this is quality control rubbish and this isn't any good that this is terrible and I really wish that they, they would do something different, then I'm going to go to them and I'm going to say, look, come on, you guys need to do something about this. I've, I've got this many people saying this many things who are your customers and the reason you're getting paid this amount of money, you should heed to what we are demanding. And just, it's something simple as just a different plastic. I don't know why. Uh, they just, the pla I don't I don't know why they do that. I think because, like, with some plastics that, like, with Hasbro and that, they get stuck and then when you try and force them they can kind of just like bend and warp and that which happens with every figure but with these ones when you bend and when you try and force them they just kind of crack and split so that doesn't work either anyway guys i don't want to run about this for long so just once again i want to go over the plan so if you do have any pictures or you have an example of when one of your figures by dc direct stroke dc collectibles has broken please either send me the picture via facebook Send me a uh, comment down below and let me know about all this stuff. And then I'm going to try and get as much of it as I can, group it together, and then I'm going to take it to the company direct and see if we can actually do something about changing their mind. Now, they have come out with some newer designs, which I remember someone telling me about, and I've only literally just looked at it now. The new New 52 Lex Luthor. And... Very, very cool figure. Loving this figure. Haven't got around to reviewing it yet. It's going to be one I'm going to be doing soon. But my buddy Ronnie Tosh said to me, and that basically, because he had this figure before me, he said that they've actually put metal inside the plastic. Let's have a look. Let's bring the light right down. Oh, I don't see any metal in there. That looks very hollow to me.
fact, it even looks like there's an air bubble in there. What about this side? It's got paint on this side, so I can't see. But this side, as you can see, no paint, but it looks like there's an air bubble in there. That side, I can't see. But this in here, this is so undignified. I think there is actually metal in there. It's kind of hard to really see with the uh, shine from the lights, but I think there is actually metal inside that peg. But it's still clear plastic. Right, so this is what's going to happen with that. Okay, so my prediction say, like, this is the actual plastic, the pipe, and this is the plastic. So, what's going to happen is basically that's either going to break and it's going to spin around on the metal, and then it'll basically crack like in two, like that. So then you'll have you'll have half going you'll have it half going round like that. And you have the metal rod going in the middle. So that, in my opinion, that won't work. I could be wrong. I mean, it might be their ultimate cure and it might actually do the trick. But in my opinion, I don't think that's going to hold it. I think, like I've said from the start of this video, is basically just need to have a different plastic used altogether. Right. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. And any feedback you can give me would be so appreciated. Like I said, contact me on my Facebook, contact me via this, and let me know of anything that you've had. And I'm going to really try and see if we can change their opinion about using this. I'm even going to try and approach some other larger name YouTubers and see if I can get them in on this as well. Because if I can get them behind this, then maybe we might actually have a stand of doing something dramatic. We shall see. I won't mention any names yet because, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Fingers crossed. Right, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this and really appreciate all the help you guys provide. Thanks a lot. Take care and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye.